wins this critical game five and why? I'm going with the Warriors because I believe Steph is, is going to be too much to handle. And until I see the Boston Celtics do something to get the ball out of Steph Curry's hands. Skip, at some point in time, don't you try to at least make somebody else beat you? Let me see if Andrew Wiggins can go get 30. Let me see if Klay Thompson, let me see if some of these other guys, I see what Steph is doing. He's getting 30 routinely. He's averaging 34. At some point in time, you know what? I'm going to get the ball out of his hands. I am not going to let Steph Curry beat me. And if Andrew Wiggins is the finals MVP, too late for that nine, because if they win, Steph's going to be that. If Klay Thompson, so be it. I'm not going to continuously let this man get off these threes. He gets the ball, Skip, I'm trapping him immediately. So what if Looney rolls to the basket? So what if Draymond rolls to the basket? That's, those are not the plays that kill you. It's that Steph Curry three when he starts dancing one on First of all, once you put it, get, they get, he gets you in the pick and roll, and you let him dance one-on-one -on -one with Al Horford, or you let him dance one-on-one -on -one with Robert Williams, what do you expect to happen? get the ball out of his hands. So with that being said, until I see game five, and I'm not saying that just because they lose game five, the Celtics, they won't win the series. But I'm going to need to see a new game plan because I watched the same game plan last year when Phoenix says, we, this is what we do. We let D.A. take Giannis one-on-one. -on -one. We're not building no wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, he got he, three games. He had like 40 points in the game. In the closeout, he was 50-plus, and he turned the lights out of the place. True. Instead of trying to play hero to my, oh, we, we, we do, I can't get it. No, he's different. And he's not having these bad games, Skip. Like, we saw Jimmy Butler games three, four, and five. You're like, well, what happened to Jimmy? Yep. And we saw what you did to KD. He's a different animal because this kid has range up to 35, 40 feet. I'm going to trap Steph Curry. I am going to get the ball out of his hands. And if Andrew Wiggins, if Klay Thompson, oh, well, I tried something different. But you keep doing the same thing, you're going to keep getting the same results. He goes off on you in the third quarter. Every third quarter, Skip, he's going off this series. Mm. Every third quarter. He hadn't missed a beat. And now you don't let him find his rhythm come fourth quarter. Mm. So you know what that means? He's going to be out hunting. Mm. He looking. Easy pickings. Mm -hmm. Al Horford, you out here again. <laughs> Robin, <laughs> Margaret Smart. <laughs> just, just, just gobbling them up. Mm. So, no, I'm taking the Warriors in game five. Mm. By the way, Jordan Poole is starting to settle in here and starting to find his place and range in the finals. Yes. Right? Looked like he was a little over his head, a little overmatched mm -hmm. at first. Okay. I, I need to get this straight. So are you still taking Boston yeah, in the series? I'm taking Boston, yeah. And you had it in six. I had Boston in the six. Okay. I was just for, sure, for certain, Skip, and I was feeling pretty good about Friday night until, you know. Until that happened. Yeah, until that happened. Or didn't. <laughs> okay, so are you now... Boston in seven. seven. Okay, Boston. I, I got to get it straight. Who knows? It might on. be Boston in eight, eight but Boston winning this thing. Okay, I am with you on one count here. I find both these teams utterly untrustable, <laughs> especially at home. I just find them untrustable. So tonight I'm going with Boston State. Can I go with Boston State? <laughs> or tonight I'll go with the whoa, Weltics. Can I go with the Weltics? <laughs> I, I really have no idea. I wouldn't bet a drop of dew on it. I wouldn't bet a nickel on this game because I'm not sure which team is more psychologically vulnerable between these two because in game one, in this same building we're going to watch this game in tonight, the home team, the Golden State Warriors, gave up a 48-18 to 18 run from late third all the way into late fourth quarter. So mm -hmm. over about a quarter's time, a 48-18 to 18 run. Are you kidding me? How, how could that be at home in this place? So I don't trust them a bit. They're a four-point favorite, so if you force me to because I picked Golden State to win in seven, well, th they probably should win this game tonight right. because they better win it because right. I, I wouldn't love their chances of going back to Boston. And I, then would. I stop and think, well, maybe I should yeah, love I, their chances. I, I would. I would love their chances okay. of going back to Boston right. because it seems like Boston doesn't have handle prosperity well. No. Remember, Skip, they had, they had uh, the Heat. Mm. Heat for the game six. But those turnovers and then they got – Turned the ball over to what they have, 19 steals, 24 total turnovers? Yeah. So for long stretches of the series, I've looked at Boston and said they're too big, they're too athletic, they're, they're too physical, and they're too driven by their new head coach for Golden State to handle. They're getting 
manhandled. They're getting overwhelmed and overpowered by a team that for long stretches of the series, you just say Boston just looks better, right? right. Yep. Okay, there is that stat about the the turnovers. And, and you say <laughs> when, when the Celtics commit 15 or fewer turnovers in the postseason, they're 14 and 2. When they go above 15, they're 0 and 6. So, so it could just boil down to if Boston can just protect the basketball and not just throw it all over the lot. Well, the thing what happens was if you keep them in a close game, teams will realize if we keep them in a close game, that means that they don't have a true point guard on their roster. They will revert back to all of a sudden Jason Tatum trying to make it to him. Now, Skip, his assist toll is up, but that's not what he naturally is. No. Jalen Brown will resort, will try to make plays. That's not what he does. So we're going to put guys in situations they're unfamiliar with. Now, this is the NBA Finals. I don't care if it's just basketball. No, it's not. You know it's different. Everybody else knows it's different. The atmosphere is different. Mm -hmm. So now we put you in a situation you're unfamiliar with in a, in a pressure in a pressure cooker, which is the NBA Finals. Mistake, mistake, mistakes. That's what I do. I'm going to force you into a situation you haven't been in in a very long time. Mm. Force you to do something that you're not used to doing mm. and watch what happens. So I told you on Jason Tatum going into Friday night's game, he led the, the entire playoffs and turnovers with 83. Second is, is the, his teammate, 60, Jalen Brown. Well, now he, he just tacks six more onto that. So he's got 89 turnovers for the playoffs. It, it won't fly. It won't float, man. No. It's just too many. It's hard to overcome that. Well, on the other side, it's been hard for Golden State to overcome Draymond. And so Steve Kerr finally said in the fourth quarter for a stretch, he just said, you know what? You better uh, with me over you, here. You, you come sit by <laughs> me because I'm going to leave Jordan Poole in the game. Yeah. And even though we're small, maybe we can score the basketball a little easier, which they were able to do. But then he put Draymond back in with about, it's about 3.30 right. or so left. And Draymond made a couple of big plays. Right. Because if, if you look at the box score, I mean, Draymond Green did have nine rebounds and eight assists. Well, right. Well, those are valuable, man. Right. But, but see, the thing was, Skip, I take Draymond out because the guy that Dray, that's covering Draymond can go help because Draymond is not an offensive threat. Yep. So now with Jordan Poole in the ball game, you can't leave him. Listen, Jordan Poole, as he gets his feet underneath him, he can be a big X factor here. And you know and I know, you even agree on this. There is this game six clay. Maybe there's a game seven ah. clay. And pretty soon he's, he's going to explode. I don't know if it's a game five tonight, but it could be a game six back in Boston. He'll have one of those eight three type games. Yeah. So to, to me, if you force me to, just because I picked Golden State in seven, I believe they should win this game at home because Steph's got a hot hand. Obviously, Steph's foot was not bothering him, and I don't think it was his ankle. He's had he's been notorious for ankle injuries. Ankle, yeah. But the point is, it, it's some kind of a foot sprain that clearly did not hobble him at all in Game Four. Well, they better not fall night. on the other foot because he dropped forty-three after having a bad one. So yep. he might drop fifty-three if you mess with his other foot. I, I would agree. <laughs> so it would seem like tonight should belong to Steph to a certain degree, to Clay to a certain more degree, to Jordan Poole. It's, it's like they're at home, three should fall easier at home, and they're, they've got the momentum. But what scares me about this series is, I told you, they take turns humiliating each other, yep. and then they get mad at each other, and, and then somebody gets even. So will, will the Celtics – the Celtics have been very good under Emei bouncing back. On and, yeah. and I'll give they Jason, haven't lost back-to-back -back games no, this postseason. And Jason Tatum has been very good at bouncing back, unfortunately, because he's having to bounce back a whole lot. Yeah, you got to bounce, yeah, bounce back. Would you right? keep chucking it up? That, that is correct. So I, I'm going to say Steph rules tonight, and then it should get back on course, and I would think Boston should win at home. I, I know you say, well, look at what's happening. <laughs> but it, it feels like a seven-game series to me. And I still got Golden State and you got Paul. Steph is just getting enough help. Yep. Clay's giving him 17. Yep. Wiggins is giving him 16. Yep. Poole is giving him 12 and a half. Just enough. Because if, as long as he keeps averaging 35, that's enough scoring from the rest of the guys, Skip, for them to win a game. Got it. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.